Thames water is floating equipment including a crane to avoid draining a reservoir during reinforcement works. The Banks of Island Barn Reservoir in West Molesey, Surrey, are being reinforced with metal sheets to stop water seeping through, but the project team has floated equipment on specially made pontoons so it can continue to be used. A dry winter and spring meant the team did not want to take the 122-acre reservoir out of supply, and draining it meant the Island Barn Sailing Club had to find a temporary new home. Thames Water Site Construction Manager, Amit Chakraborty, said historically a reservoir like this would be drained for work to be done on its walls, but this would have meant the sailing club finding a temporary new home and also taking the reservoir out of supply, which after a dry winter and spring, we didn't want to do. Floating a heavy crane on top of the water in this way is certainly a different approach, but we're constantly looking into new and innovative ways of working to limit disruption and keep costs down. We're really glad the sailing club have been able to continue using the reservoir, while this vital improvement work is in progress. The reservoir, which is about half the size of Hyde Park and holds around 992 million gallons of water, was built in 1908 for the Metropolitan Water Board. Cracks, bursts and blockages in sewer networks are being caused by builders dumping excess concrete down drains, according to Thames Water. Black Beach is to start an investigation into the feasibility of large-scale floating solar farms at 17 of Hong Kong's impounded reservoirs. Thames Water is searching for contractors to carry out reinstatement work worth £258 million across London and parts of the southeast. New groundbreaking sensors have been installed on the foundations of two offshore wind turbines in northern England to analyze their performance in the harsh marine environment.